we're going to have a little look at um, a spiral roundabout. Um, roundabouts where um, what usually happens is that a lane leaves from the left and then another one starts from the right hand side. Uh, we're just going to have a little look at these. I'm just going to um, get past this lorry first of all. <laughs> following um, the signs a little bit further up for um, the A57 and now there's two entrances to the A57 we're going to be picking up the one for Prescott and then we'll uh, go into explaining a little bit more about how these spiral roundabouts work they're usually um, on bigger junctions um, a lot of the time coming off or at the end of motorways um, this one's obviously uh, leading off the M57 in Liverpool. So we're, uh, we're taking the, the next junction off. Um, just after the, the left lane leaves, there's another junction uh, that takes us down to uh, Tarbuck Island, and that's where we're going to be using. So I'm going to be using the right hand lane. Uh, the reason is we're heading all the way around the roundabout. Um, if you have a little look at the signs on the right, sorry, it's not Prescott, it's Heighton, Heighton, and it's uh, not the A57, it's the A5080. That's the one we're taking. So we're in this right lane, and what happens on spiral roundabouts is that you, um, you keep heading to the right-hand side, until you find the lane that you're in. Um, if you're taking the first or the second junction, usually the left lane on the approach will be fine. But if you're taking anything more than that, um, you'll generally need the right-hand lane. Um, because like I said, the, the left lane heads off and then another one starts from the inside. So effectively, what you've got to be doing is keeping on moving to the next this right hand lane until you pick up the signs or the, the the road that you actually need so heighten a5080 is what we're looking for so it's traffic light controlled so we're still checking to make sure um, and as we can see um, the lane a5080 is to cron and we need to head around the other side of the roundabout so we look at the green sign to the right, I'm going to keep on heading to the right hand side, I'm just going to be careful of this little black punto. <clears throat> so A5080 is still on the road surface, we keep the right signal on as, as well until we find the lane that we're in. Um, the lane next to me to the left is, uh, is M62 and if we look at the green sign, Heighton A5080 is now the middle lane so I don't move any further to the right hand side I stay exactly where I am like I said the signal has now gone off if I was to keep a right signal on now people would probably think I'm going to try and get into the right hand lane and here's the example of what I was saying about the left lane leaning or leaving and another lane starting from the right hand side which it does a little bit further up when there's room on the road so here um, as you can see we we were around the inside of the roundabout and now um, we found the lane that we're in and now what's happened is we've not changed lane but we've found ourselves in the left hand side because the junction that we're taking is a little bit further up it's actually the next exit off so that's effectively um, what's gone on we're now in the left hand lane ready to leave these roundabouts are a little bit easier when the traffic light controlled um, but the important thing is, is to look far, um, pick up on all the road markings on the road and pick up on the signs as early as we can. And like I said, you keep heading to the right until you find the lane that you're wishing to use and then you stay in there and that lane will take you off. Uh, just a little further point about, um, about this next junction that we're leaving to, um, it's the only way we can go sometimes when it's not traffic light controlled a signal will still help but it wouldn't help the cars waiting up there the silver land rover at the front of the queue the reason being is that's traffic light controlled so our signal isn't needed in that situation ok 
Okay, we're going to have another look at um, the same spiral roundabout, but from a different direction. Um, we're coming from the heightened turn that I've just uh, entered into previously, and we're going to be picking up the signs for Widnes and Manchester for the M62 motorway. I know it's before 12 o'clock, but on the spiral roundabouts, like I said, um, the left lane generally takes either the first or the second junction so it's because it's the third junction that we're taking um, we will need this right hand lane now obviously all roundabouts are different but that's just a general guideline if you're taking more um, than the second junction um, generally you will need the inside lane and that's for a majority of the spiral roundabouts that I know of um, like I said it's before 12 o'clock but we're going to be picking up the signs for the M62 <coughs> and same again, we're going to be heading to the right until we pick up and find that M62 road. And because it's the third junction, um, you know, common sense would say that we wouldn't have to move to the right too much to be able to find that particular lane. So we're just going to have a little look. And Markin's on the road there, M62. Um, so we're fine exactly where we are. And even here, we should be looking at the sign underneath the bridge. Um, when the lorry goes past and we move forward a bit you'll probably be able to see it a little bit better on the video um, but it is the middle lane when we go round the corner and like I said that the left lane um, goes either left up onto the M57 or it takes the turn to Whiston so from here we will end up in the middle lane <coughs> again it's traffic light controlled so it's uh, it's quite easy to deal with um, can even watch and anticipate the traffic lights quite simply by the, the traffic lights in front of us not the red one but the green one to the side which is changing on amber so we're obviously getting ready to go okay so we're heading in behind the lorry we are in the right hand lane so we must stay there and now we're going to stay in this lane because this is the one sign posted for m62 we're going to be careful of people in this left hand lane moving across because the general rules about roundabouts um, to turn round and, uh, and and be in the left lane up to 12 o'clock don't really apply on these spiral roundabouts and um, if I had a video of behind you would see a blue BMW that did exactly what I was saying was in the left lane to try and go to the M62 and, and has had to uh, half get in the lane with its, uh, its, its back end still stuck in the left hand lane but like I said, just, um, just remember that those same rules don't necessarily always apply. So you can see that the left lane heads off towards Whiston and we're in the correct lane to head on towards the motorway. Um, again, in this situation, no signals required um, and I've, uh, I've left the roundabout safely. 